Hey guys, Pitmaster here. I'm here with Big Brother, otherwise known as Isaiah Rocha, undefeated MMA fighter and Hawaiian Kempo superstar. Uh, been with me since he's four years old, but that's a whole different story. But anyway, okay, let me just explain something to you that's very important. When it comes to angles, angles, angles. Angles is also a great gay bar in Hawaii, by the way. I'm just letting you know that. But we're not talking about that right now. And I have been there. I got a lap dance from this 250 pound Samoan who did the splits. I gave him a dollar and my wife was really happy. Anyway, forget the angles thing. But I'm telling you about angles now. You always want to be off center. You always want to be angled from your opponent. There's never a reason to stand right in front of your opponent. Unless you're Arturo Gatti or Leonard Garcia and you just want to swing or Diego Sanchez, okay? If you want to win the fights and not get hit as much or get taken down as much, you always want to be at a slight angle to your opponent. Now, if he's, it doesn't matter if he's southpaw or regular. Say, okay, so he's southpaw. I don't want to be here. There's just no reason for me to be here. I can hit him, but he can hit me. I don't want a 50-50 chance. I want to stack the odd in my favor. He can shoot from there, boom. Everything he can do to me, is he can do right here. So I can step over here a little more, but I'm still right in front of him, okay? So when you're fighting a southpaw, very important fact, if you watch my foot, you always want your lead foot, which would be your left foot, outside of their right foot. And if you don't believe me, go watch Lomachenko. Watch any of his highlight reels, and then watch his foot. It's always to the outside of his opponent. Okay, so when I put my foot on the outside, now I'm at a little bit of an angle. It's hard to shoot from here, right? Because I can get out of the way easier. It's harder for him to land hard shots because I'm not in his direct line, okay? So you always want to be at that angle. But with that said, I don't want to be at this angle because now I can't attack. I always want my opponent in front of me but I don't want to be in front of him, okay? So you got to remember that. You always want them in front of you, but you don't want to be in front of them, all right? If he was regular stance or orthodox, okay, now my footwork doesn't matter as much, my foot placement, because I, I, I want my feet, he, he's regular, I'm regular. So when you're fighting someone the same orientation, orientation as you, right? Then I always want to be this way. I want to be a little this angle. Because if I start going this angle, yeah, I can throw my stuff in real good. But so can he. I can do my shots, but so can he. But if I start turning this corner more, right, then I have more options. He has less options. And that's a good thing in a fight. You want to have more options than your opponent or attacker. Because that stacks the odds in your favor. You don't want an even, you don't want an even deck. You don't want, you want to be stacked in your favor, especially in the street, okay? So always try to turn corners and get angles where you can attack and they can. He can throw punches, I'm over here. Be at an angle, okay? If you're fighting a southpaw, or if you're a southpaw and you're fighting regular, it doesn't matter, always keep your lead, lead foot on the outside of theirs. And they want theirs on the outside too. So it's a game, it's a chess game, okay? And guess what? If you're playing that chess game and they're playing the chess game, they're not gonna be attacking as much because they're too busy trying to play a chess game, all right? So angles, angles, angles. It's not just a gay bar in Hawaii. It's also a great way to fight, all right? And always, always, always have your opponent right in front of you but don't be in front of them. All right, thanks for coming. Okay.